So in your past, we start off with the Knight of Wands. This is a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. You should be feeling charged up, full of energy, and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is likely to be increasing, and this should help you towards your goals. The Knights are often message bearers. And in the wand suit, the messages are likely to be positive and related to work or career. Your projects are likely to be or have been more successfully than you would have expected or predicted. You have a lot of reasons to feel pride, so savor it. And we clarify this card of your past with the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles can be a great card about holding on to things. Well, actually, it can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than it is healthy for you. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sure sign that you must look carefully at what you are clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Relax. In general, the Four of Pentacles can point to anxiety, fear about money, and or a clinging to whether it is that makes the that makes you feel secure so it's a fear about money or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure so the key here is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping does not bring security So with these two cards, basically now is a good time for travel as you may feel full of energy. Try to take a relaxing trip that would help relieve anxiety and fears about money, people, and situations. And once again, that was your past. So now let's move on to the present. In the present, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a very spiritual card, often with sexual overtones. It can mean that you are in a phase where you are going to be much more physically attractive to others. She is, well, the High Priestess is tied to the moon, to femininity, and to inspiration. This is a time to rely, this is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It is also important that you pay attention to your dreams right now. Keeping a dream diary or a journal would be a good idea. And we clarify the High Priestess card with the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is a card about choices. It often indicates confusion. It can even also point to disorganization and too much going on. In general, this card points to a need to narrow your focus. When it appears, you are probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. Choose just so so choose just a few of the choose just a few of things that are on your plate and work through these items one by one carefully. You may be feeling overwhelmed. So remember that you can control at least in some areas how much you are trying to take on. So with these two cards, once again, since people may be drawn to you and find you much more attractive now, you may have a hard time dealing with all the attention 
you may be overwhelmed, but just remember to enjoy it. Next, let's move on to the challenge. The challenge is the Eight of Swords. With the Eight of Swords, you may be holding yourself back because you're because you fear moving into the future or because you are weary of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. Think through what it is that you that you are afraid of, okay? The truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. And we clarify this card by the Knights of Pentacles, which points to messages, often with regard to money and finances. You are likely to finally receive news that you've been waiting on, and this news is likely to be good. The knight is a very practical card. The knight tells us to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of our lives. A wise man once said, take care of the little things and the big things will fall into place. So the Knight of Pentacles asks you to look at how you are handling your affairs and is a grounding influence. So with the two of these cards, you may feel like holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future. But no worries. Don't worry. You're likely to receive good news you've been, you've been waiting on. So just continue to move forward. And then we have the outcome. Which is the, her which is the hermit card. Okay, so the Hermit card is an extremely spiritual card and often has to do with institutions and large organizations. Everything from a bank to the entire Christian church. Just like with the Strength card, you may even more so be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also very much a card about trying very hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. And we clarify this card with the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles is very often a card about returns on investments. This can literally, this can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you or figuratively, such as the investment of time, effort, and energy that you have put into a relationship. You will be reaping what you have sown. This is generally positive. In general, in general, you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along well and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a great cause. You may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you already are involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So choose wisely. So basically with these two cards, don't be afraid to take a long time if you feel you need to do so. Because before you know it, things, people, situations, final 
hopefully will be all going well. Okay, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching, and I hope it's a great month for you.